Hi guys, welcome to my latest video of what am I drinking? So how did I choose this wine? I was running, rummaging through the wine cellar and I came across this little gem, excuse the pun, uh, it's a half bottle of Gewurztraminer. it's a 2003, so Gewurztraminer is a grape variety, it's a single grape variety, so there's just one grape in this bottle, no blends. It's from the vintage 2003, so it's pretty old, it's quite a mature vintage. Uh, probably the reason why I actually picked it out from the cellar, wondering whether it's it's still good, which it actually was pretty decent. Um, it's by a producer named Ugel Ugel Efis from a, a region in, in in France, one of the most northern regions in France, which is Alsace. It's just on the border with Germany, next to the Rhine River. So Gewurztraminer Gewurztraminer is actually a pink grape, so it's a pink, thin-skinned grape, and many a time Gewurztraminer wines get a pink tinge or a pink hue to it, uh, or, or they look a little bit golden. In this case, because of the age, it's it's just purely golden, so I don't really get the, 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 the pink tinge over here. Nonetheless, on the nose, it's an extremely aromatic wine. All Gewurztraminers are, are, are always aromatic. Funnily enough, Gewurz, we actually call it Gewurz in short, being such a long, complicated, difficult word. Gewurz means spicy. Um, and funny enough, it's, it's not actually a spicy wine. I would say it's more of an aromatic wine, more of a fruity wine. People also think that, that this wine is very sweet. Not necessarily. For example, this particular wine is not sweet. I would say it's an off-dry, I wouldn't say it's actually totally bone-dry, there is a little bit of residual sugar, but it's not particularly sweet. What makes it taste sweet or, or gives the impression of taste, gives it the impression of sweetness is the, the flavour profile, this, this, these aromatic flavours, this, this pungency that it has. Also, depending on the acidity, that makes it sweeter or, or, or less sweet. But let, let, let's get to the tasting. So from the colour immediately you know that it's it's definitely got a bit of age on it, 2003, not a young wine. Immediately you get this typicity of, of lychees, this, the, the sweet um, Asian dessert, fruit, fruit dessert that nobody really orders at restaurants really, well, except for me probably. It's got this certain fruit and a certain sweetness to it. You get honey. Strange when it's not actually a very sweet wine. This one is actually also 13.5% alcohol, which is really, really high for, for a white wine. It's, it's, not, it's not so usual. Coming to think of it, 2003 was a very, very warm year in Alsace. So I can understand why now the alcohol is, is so high. On, on, on such a wine. Gewurz Traminers tend to have a, a relatively high alcohol uh, alcohol percentage, but 13.5% is competing with the big with the big boys, with the reds. You can also get a little bit of nuttiness, so you, you can feel that it's got a bit of age on it. Lovely. Again, it's got the similarities from the nose and on the palate. It's it's it's, it's very similar. Again, you get you get that honeyness, that that nice honey, honey texture, honey oily. It's a sli slightly oily, slightly rich. It's very deep. So that's it's a very rich wine actually. Mm. You get ginger flavors, a lot of floral. So I can get. Roses, definitely rose petal. And then more fruit comes out. The fruit is, is made is, is, is a sweet fruit, so I'd say a bit like ripe banana. I get the you know you know when the, when the banana goes a little bit a bit browny, that type of sweetness from the ripe banana. A little bit of the lychee, just like in the just like on the nose. 
which is very typical of Gebert Stammen. Eh? If, you, if you get a glass of wine and you smell light cheese, automatically you know it's this grape variety. 100%. Mm. There's a certain creaminess to it as well, a bit oily. The acidity is a little bit on the low side. Obviously, it's it's. I would assume it's the age as well. You get a nice toffee flavor. That's really nice. That's really interesting. It keeps lingering in the mouth. This toffee and banana. Mm. That's lovely. So the acidity is a little bit low, as I said, and and I, I would think because of the acidity, it makes it the perception makes it even even sweeter than it actually is. So I actually made a mistake with this wine. I I, I decided to have an Asian udon noodle soup for dinner, and I made it very spicy with a lot of coriander and a lot of chili and a lot of ginger hoping that the ginger and the coriander would, would work really well with the wine it wasn't bad but i don't think it was the perfect pairing if, if you want my 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 honesty i am um, probably because it is in the mouth it is perceived to be sweeter than it actually is because the acidity is actually quite low because it's probably a little bit past its best it would have been better I would say a couple of years ago, three, four years ago, would have been would have been ideal. So, if I had to probably pair another dish with this, something maybe I would say curry, something with coconut milk, fruits, apricots, dried apricots, dried peaches, banana thrown in. So curry with a lot of these fruits and and and, and Asian spices, that could work well. Or if you're going to fine dine, I would think duck with foie gras or the saltiness. I wouldn't go for anything sweet, so I wouldn't go for a dessert with this wine. Because it is a perception of sweetness, it's true, but it's not actually sweet. So what would happen is once you have the dessert, which is something sweet, or you have a sweet, a proper sweet, this would end up tasting on the on the sour side or slightly slightly off balance. It it just won't stand up to the sweetness. That's that would be the difference between this, for example, and, and something that is much sweeter, like like a Gevoud Slamener, which is Vendange Tardive, which means late harvest. So so Ugerefis, these these producers, also produce Gevoud Slamener, which is late harvest, and that's Gevoud Slamener, you would see Vendage Tardive, which or VT at the bottom and that means it's a late harvest so the berries are left on the on the vine for a short while or for, for a relatively short while today today dehydrate and become like like raisins and then when they pick them the sugar is is much higher the water content is much lower so the wine is sweet also they make a selection de grand noble which means selection of noble grapes or noble noble in the sense of a noble rot so what happens is the berry actually has a special mold, which they call a noble mold, which dehydrates the grape and increases the, the sugar level. So both those wines are actually very sweet wines and they can eat for decades. I had a 1989 Selection de Grand Noble just a, a couple of months ago and it was absolutely awesome, fantastic, and could, could last another 10, 15 years. This on the other hand, being more of a dry wine, it's probably past its best, so I would have probably better drunk it in 2015, I would guess. Anyway, still super enjoyable. Um, as, as you can see, the bottle's finished. And I think I'll kill it tonight. Cheers.